Hello, Sagittarius. This is your reading. Wow, you have the Knight of Swords with the Seven of Cups. So, I don't know if you just feel like something coming in quick and then you have a decision to make. Um, but also, I feel like maybe you feel like a lot of people are attacking you lately or a lot of people just don't understand the energy that you're in. It kind of seems like it's out of nowhere, but it's making you say, okay, let me step back and think about this right now. Let me think about what my options are. Let me think about what's best for me, right? King of Swords, you're taking the power into your own hands. So like, this is definitely someone else's energy coming at you with the sword. And you're like, wait a minute, let me think. And then I'm going to respond. So I definitely feel like somebody might be coming at you in a way. I feel like a lot of people have, but particularly one person, and you might not even know them or um, you could know them, but it's just like, you're going to wait. You're going to think. And then you're going to like, yeah, <laughs> I'm King of Swords. Like this is your energy right now that you're standing in. You're standing in your own power. You just like know how to articulate things very well. Um, you know how to like solve communication problems, but you also know like people respect you. People respect you. And I feel like after you even respond to the way that this person is, people are going to respect you even more and like just hold you in a higher regard because it's like you're untouchable right now. Like this fool is like about to take a step off the edge of this cliff and it's like not a problem. You have loyalty here. So something is going to happen that is going to show you who loyal people are and who loyal people aren't because I feel like there's some people around you that have had some masks on and now it's like they're taking them off all of a sudden and it's like, whoa, like... Who do you think you are <laughs> like you're trying to leave me out in the cold here um no that's not what i do okay this is a card of regrouping also this card is like he has mastered so many different areas in the world male or female doesn't matter and now he's looking out and he's like okay what's next planning what is next this is a card of planning what is next after someone tries to leave you, leave you out in the cold after somebody tries to kind of like put you down in a way and come at you in a way and it's like you're just untouchable but i feel like that just makes them even more angry yeah <laughs> like that just like kills them like even more that you're just like not being phased by this at all like you transitioned away from this person where i don't know if this person had a power over you or in the past like other situations that were similar that had a power over you in a way where um because you cared so much you know you have a very big heart sag and it was just like you would try to do anything to make something work and somebody else didn't really do the same thing so it's like you just kind of went through these cycles where you kept like having heartbreak and then like trying to transition having heartbreak and trying to transition but now it's kind of like um i'm invincible <laughs> Like, there's nothing that holds a power over me anymore. This, like, Ten of Pentacles here, it's like you finally found your place. And look at all the dogs on this card. There's a lot of loyalty that your loyalty, like, people around you that are loyal is going to be amplified, okay? So don't worry about any people that you need to step away from, that you need to kind of cut out here, that you are just, like, not letting have this power over you anymore because you are getting, like, double fold back. Look at this, double fold as I say that. This is the five of pentacles, and you're going to the ten of pentacles. So definitely, like, a huge upgrade that you're having. And people around you that you can definitely trust and it might be unexpected as well because on the ten of pentacles here this guy is a beggar okay and he has come to bring gifts oh no i think it's one of the cards over here well regardless oh okay 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 okay, okay. so it's like telling me okay someone that was once a beggar that you were kind to oh okay so they're showing me like um snow white but it's kind of like a reverse Snow White. Hmm, how can I explain this? You know how Snow White, um, she has like the old lady 
are the old lady, the queen that's like, you know, dressed like an old lady and she's like, oh, you know, and Snow White's like kind to her. Well, she gives her an apple and Snow White, you know, falls asleep. But that's not what I'm getting here. I'm getting, what is that? What is the one, which one? I think they're talking about Beauty and the Beast. I don't know which one it is, but someone is like disguises themselves as a beggar, but they're not. You know what I mean? So it's not someone disguising themselves to you. It's just like someone came in and they had nothing. They really needed something and you were just kind to them. You just showed them some sort of a kindness. It doesn't have to necessarily be, you know, a person that is uh, I, what you would call a, a beggar or like a homeless person. I want to say that in a nice way, <laughs> but somebody had didn't have anything you know and you were kind to them you showed them a great kindness and then it's like you're finding out that they do they they come into having a lot and then they want to bless you they want to give you a gift like that's what the message is that's what i'm trying to say so if this person was formerly a beggar but then it's like you know turns out they have all this money or something um and then they want to come at you with this beautiful gift so there's something here about you thought something was one way and you were just kind just to be kind not to get anything out of it but you're going to get something out of it it's an unexpected aspect is what i'm really trying to say here sorry and it's because you hold on tight to the energy of your childhood that's very sad very very sad like pisces um gets kind of credit for that in the zodiac but i just always felt like it was more sagittarius that it's just like you have this inner child that you're just in touch with that you're just holding on to it and you're protecting it. And that's why you like go away from certain people from a time because they come at you attacking that inner child because you have a pure heart and other signs don't necessarily understand that and they will take advantage of that. Look with the seven of swords. So it's like anyone that you had to walk away from, it was good that you did that. <coughs> and now you're being acknowledged. This is a card of acknowledgement. <coughs> And spirit is going to bring this acknowledgement into your existence because you protected your inner child when you should. There's something about a mastery of this here. Because before you let other people in too much in a way where it swayed you and it swayed your emotions and it sent you down this downward spiral. But you transitioned out of that big time and now the blessings are coming rolling in because it's like... Um, you learned this discernment of when to protect your inner child and when not to, and when to say, you know what, this situation is not giving to me, so I am not giving to it. But you also didn't stop giving to people that have nothing in a way. You know what I mean? Because there are certain people that they don't give anything to you, and they're just trying to take, and they're just trying to take, and it's like, okay, no. But that doesn't mean if you just meet someone and you just want to just give to them and you just have this feeling, this energy like, yes, this person really needs it. They have a good soul. They're just having a moment. You know what I mean? And then once they get right, you can tell how you can tell the difference is once they get right, once they get everything in order, then they come and they give back to you. Right. And these are the kind of people that it's now they're coming out of the woodwork. There's other people that you forgot about that you helped in some kind of a way that now they have gotten things together and they want to come forward and they want to give to you. But there's been people that have been lingering in your energy and always there and they're just taking, 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 taking. And they're masquerading as if they're giving. And they, that's what I feel like this is about. It's like they kind of get pissed because you're like pulling your energy away and they're like, wait a minute, you know? So they're trying to charge in and you're just like, no, no. I know what is right. I know what is true. And that's not what you're being. So I'm not going to give to you. I'm not going to do that. I have other options. I have other opportunities. I am not just going to sit around and wait for someone to get it together that clearly doesn't want to do that, you know? And this is how you are going to be acknowledged for this. Beautiful blessing coming in for you. Look at this celebration. Look at this three of cups here. It's like, yeah, you've definitely spent some time here. It's definitely been some time that you've been praying, that you've been asking for something. But March is this time. Oh, whenever you're reading this, read, whenever you view this reading, okay, it's like the next few weeks, okay? It definitely feels like the next few weeks something big is going to be happening. And this is something you've been praying for for a long time, maybe even years. 
There's just a cycle here that you finally closed out. Yeah, because look at this Wounded Warrior card. Okay, this is the card of like, look. Okay, this guy's like, wait a minute. Whoa, I've been hurt. Things happen around here in this world. Okay, I got to put up my sticks. I got to hold this stick. I got to be ready to fight. Because look what happened when I wasn't ready. Whoa, got knocked on the head there. Yikes. But, you know, you so you kind of kept alive a heartache and you were like asking for more trying to manifest something else but you were holding on to the heartache too long but you finally learned how to let this go because look at this you go from the nine of wands to the king of wands so this is like together the ten of wands putting down that burden but the king of wands adds a little extra oomph to this not just the ten of wands not just putting down the burden the burden is gone and behind him. You think this guy thinks about burdens? Yeah, right. Okay. He is just focused on what's next. He is established. He is good. He has his feelings and he goes with it. So this is your energy, right? Definitely your energy. You know when to act and you know when to not act. You have that discernment. You know when to say, okay, it's good for me to share my energy with you. You know who to say, uh, no, sorry, it's not. Because before you were trying to do that, but you did it to the wrong people. You kept the wrong people in. You cut the wrong people out. Well, I mean, in a way. But the, I mean, the past is the past. You learned from it. You moved on. Like now we're focusing on now. Focusing on the now. Look at this. You worked really hard to get to this queen of wands, king and queen of wands. You worked so hard to get to this point of mastery, of mastery of your own discernment. And look at the queen of wands here. She has the black cat on this card here. And the black cat protects her, wards off evil energies. You might have a friend come into your life, come back into your life. And they stepped out for a while um, for you to do some of your own like healing work and learning how to um, make yourself in such a way that you want to be, that you're able to be in your power now. Um, and then you have somebody coming back in that this friend is like a genuine person and they protect you. They know how to, there's something about, them being like this black cat for you and it's nice for you to be able to have someone that you can absolutely rely on you know that you can trust that you can share joy with yeah you're manifesting you're manifesting this emotional fulfillment of there's not going to be all these people around me anymore that just take advantage of me and i'm in these cycles and i'm in these cycles and i'm hoping and praying i'm hoping and praying and like nothing's really panning out uh you're manifesting out of that and it's like good for you because like, yeah, I don't know if a person is going to take it very well that you're um, moving on, <laughs> you know, feels like they might become a little bit obsessed with you. But at the same time, um, I see you moving forward. I see you moving forward here with this Ace of Wands and look at this Hermit card. And it's so interesting because it's like you took this new opportunity to go within. Look at how this is a wand and look at how the Hermit is holding this walking stick here. It's like, okay, I'm going to take this new opportunity that Spirit is giving me. I'm going to go within. I'm going to shine my light brighter and I'm going to let the light guide me. And this is how, look, love is coming in, balance is coming in, choices that are being guided by the divine. That's what the lovers is here, okay? That's how this kind of stuff is coming in. Temperance. Knight of Cups and Wheel of Fortune, yeah. A new offer. Could be a new offer in love or just that somebody that, you know, it doesn't have to be new, but it could also be somebody that you're, you know, already have with you or around you that is just changing their energy to be more positive but definitely like you're gonna feel this change with this wheel of fortune good luck is coming in for you because wow because you chose to see things from a positive aspect right with this sun card it's like this is a card of missing the four of cups is a card of feeling disappointed but it's like really you don't have something to be disappointed about because it's like you have three cups that are upright and also spirit is handing you another one so it's like it might not look like it right now but 
that's exactly what is coming in and coming in quickly with this knight of wands but because you chose to see things from a positive aspect and then act that's how these blessings are coming in for you that's how this change is coming in and it just it really does feel like destiny is at work here like i just feel like something really beautiful is going to happen to you that like feels like it's out of a movie <laughs> i don't know it's just like, yeah, look at this strength card and the star. Yeah. Wow. Because you learned how to manage your own, like, you learned how to manage your own master of discernment. Like, okay, I'm going to be happy. Okay, I'm going to focus on the good things. Okay, this is not a good thing to put my energy in. I'm not doing it. And then this is how spirit is blessing you with this star card. I mean, it's like, look at how beautiful this reading is growing going from this knight of swords being attacked and having all these choices to make to now it's like you have the wheel of fortune you have the star card you have these blessings that are rolling in you have the lover's card here you have the six of pentacles you have balance coming in the um king and queen of wands together okay male or female doesn't matter but it's just like something is coming together here something is coming together it needs to change it needs to change. And it can be a relationship that you, that's like, the, okay, are you staying in this relationship? Are you staying with the kind of energy of people from the past? Or are you going to make this decision to um, go for, yeah, it's like thinking things over here. But look, the world, you're going to do it. You're going to move forward. Yeah, four of wands. It's going to bring you everything that you're wanting, you know? And yeah. Like, it's been a long time coming with this Five of Wands. It's been a road. It's been a journey. But then look at how you established yourself. And then this partnership comes in. So look at that. Yeah. You're making decisions that are right for you and not looking at the past anymore. And so maybe that means you need to cut people out. Maybe that means you're going to take some time and just be on your own and step into your own energy. But you know what? It's like you're going to be so happy that you did that because you're finally going to get somebody that like gives the same amount that you give. Or, you know, this could also be in business, like you're doing things kind of in one way on your own, but you have another opportunity that comes to you, another partnership that comes to you that is going to be much more beneficial for you. Yeah. And then it's like the page of swords is all about learning. It's about learning new things, learning to master this skill, right? Being able to put the dedication in. And then the nine of cups is like receiving a blessing, receiving. He is about to receive something that he has already received before with this. So it's like, yeah, you have had career successes in the past and you know how to put yourself in a learning situation, in an open-minded situation where you're like, okay, I can learn this, I can do this, I can do that, um, I'm going to do this, I'm going to master this. You know how to master things. That's the thing about Sagittarius is they know where they're supposed to be. And they know, like, you know, like, okay, this is the right place for me and this is what I need to do to get there. And you're willing to put into the wor work and do it. Like Sagittarius knows how to make things happen in that kind of a way. So it feels like maybe there is a new pathway that opens up for you. And you're like, yeah, this is what I want to do. I'm going to put in the work towards learning about it, towards what I need to do. And then just like all those times in the past, you're going to receive the um, like reciprocity for that work put in. So let's see what else, Sag. Queen of Cups, Chariot, and the Tower. Like someone has emotions for you and you're they're coming in quickly to let you know. Basically, someone wanting to make this move. Or could it even be you wanting to quickly make a move away from someone? It's like you want to cut someone out really quickly all of a sudden. It's like all of a sudden you're just like, okay, I'm okay with like you not being around anymore. Sorry. Um, and these are all the reasons why. And it's like they're good reasons, you know? And you kind of don't have to explain yourself to anyone and you don't. And you just kind of like move on, like following your own inner guidance system. OK, she is looking at this cup. She's looking at this cup and that cup is her emotions. She knows how she feels about things and she knows what's right and what's not. And that's what she acts on. You know, that's it. But it's like. 
This has been a while coming. Like, look at all the pebbles that are under her feet. So the Queen of, Cu of Cups is not just jumping up and taking action, okay? When you're, like, standing on a bunch of rocks. Have you ever been to a beach with a bunch of rocks? It's like, ow. <laughs> you know, you got to, like, plan your steps. All right, that guy looks smooth. All right, there's a little space here. All right. <laughs> you know, it's going to hurt if you don't. So even though it's quick, I feel like it's quick compared to, like, like now. But this has been something that's been brewing for quite some time here. But then it's like right when you walk away, then you get a great you get a great offer like right after that. <laughs> and I feel like it comes in really quick, but then it like takes slowly time to build. Like someone comes in and you're just like, oh my gosh, maybe it's them. And then you get these little signs and you're like, I don't know, could be, whatever. Let's see what happens. I'm so excited. And it takes time to build. But, um, yeah, that's because it's a real deal. That's because it's an emperor offer, okay? It's not none of this stuff from the past where it's like, oh, I got to do this, I got to do that, and, you know, I got this going on, but, you know, it's like, it's not all these excuses. You're walking away from that. Like, get out of here. Yeah, you couldn't be more done with the past. And look, eight of wands, spirit is like, yeah, we know you're done with the past, we're proud of you. So now we're blessing you. Ace of Swords is a card confirming. Blessings. Good news. Balance coming in, Sag. Okay. People trying to attack you, screw them. Okay. Stand in your power. Do what's right for you. Take new opportunities. Follow your heart. Beautiful things are coming for you. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, if you want to like the video or subscribe, that would be awesome. Thanks.